Oh, hi, Brad. Go ahead. So, you got chamber secrets? Sure have. Just as promised. I met the game. Oh. Well, let's give it a try anyway. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work, Brad. Oh, you're probably right. Luckily, I have been using the game disc as a bookmark. You've got to be kidding me. Hello, people of YouTube. I'm Brad Parsons of Polarity Products, joined today by Aidan Hadlington. Hello there, everyone. Um, as you know, we recently played Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone on PS1. Now we're doing the sequel, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, also on PS1. Yeah. So, without further ado, let's just get straight to it. I think we're going to enjoy this one more than Philosopher's Stone. Well, I quite enjoyed the Philosopher's Stone, but this this one should also be good. What I like about this one, though, is um, it, it's got auto save on it, so you don't have to keep waiting to find the save book. Yeah. yeah. So that that's made it a lot easier. Right, ready to start chamber secrets. Come on, tell us a story. Harry Potter's first year at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry was very eventful indeed. No shit. <laughs> Along with his friends, Ron Weasley and Hermione Granger, Harry had managed to defeat Lord Voldemort the greatest dark sorcerer of all time. Don't be racist. Don't but start. now Harry was back at number four Privet Drive. He was often locked in his room, and even though he was a wizard, he couldn't escape because he wasn't allowed to use magic. Then, one evening towards the end of the summer holidays, a house elf named Dobby appeared. Dobby warned Harry not to return to Hogwarts. Harry Potter must not go back to Hogwarts. For a PS1 Harry game. Potter goes back, that picture of Dobby actually looks pretty good. Danger. Does that? It? There is a plot, Harry Potter. A plot to make most terrible things happen. Again? Not sure about the voice Dobby though. Disappeared. <laughs> and shortly after, Ron Weasley and his brothers, Fred and George, arrived in a flying Ford Anglia to rescue Harry from his prison. Harry told them all about Dobby's warning. Very fishy. I reckon old Dobby was sent as someone's idea of a joke. Can you think of anyone at school with a grudge against you? Draco Malfoy. Eventually, Who else? they landed at Ron's house. The it didn't take him long to think of that, did it? Down. No. <laughs> Ron's mother, Molly Weasley, marched across the yard and came to a halt in front of them. She didn't look pleased. Bed's empty, no note, car gone. Out of my mind with worry. It seemed to go on for hours, and Mrs. Weasley had shouted herself hoarse before she turned. Is it just to me, her. or Very is the opening to, you, to this dear. game longer than the Lord first one? Weasley, I thought I yeah, it's quite longer. I'm pretty sure we were already in Hogwarts at this point. <laughs> the attic floor. It's driving me mad. Come on, Harry, let's go. And they did. What if they didn't? <laughs> <laughs> And how he stayed at the burrow forever and never learnt any more magic. <laughs> he come to live like a Weasley, he even dyed his hair. The burrow. Pardon me. Hello, Harry. Welcome to my home. It's not much. This house is the worst shithole I've ever seen. I felt more comfortable in the cupboard under my stairs. But he must never know that. The poor ginger bastard. I think it's brilliant. Thanks, Harry. We no, call what? it the burrow. Come on, Harry. 
If the goal is not the attic door again, we've got to try and find another way in. I mean, that's another change I've made of this, isn't it? How he actually speaks. Yeah, and I'm quite happy with that. Yeah. I see Dad has placed some crates in the garden. Why don't we use them to climb up onto the roof and then into the open attic window? Why don't because we just there's a door, Ron. So you know, we could just go inside the house and climb up the stairs. <laughs> but no, we have to do it the extreme way. <laughs> Why don't we climb on these boxes and go through the attic roof? Because it's dangerous, Ron! <laughs> Do you think they've got no stairs? That's how they have to go upstairs every time. Remember, press <laughs> the X button to cast. Don't worry, I remember from last year. Really, that just destroyed that box. Yeah, it wouldn't just push it, would it? Now the other one! Ronald Weasley! I thought I asked you to stop that ghoul from making such a racket. He's still dropping pipes over the attic floor. It's driving me mad. I'm on my way. Oh dear. Mum's really not happy and I think we should avoid her. But let's climb up onto the roof and jump Of course she's not happy. She never wanted a ginger child. Watch me. Well, what was the chances of them not having one? <laughs> Slimton on. <laughs> the only way they would have avoided that is if they had no kids at all. Okay, your turn, Harry. Push into the small crate to climb on top. And go through it. And then, <laughs> to auto jump. I kind of highlighted the keywords blue. <laughs> uh, run to the gap to auto jump. What the heck happened there? So it got to the end, but then he just tried jumping again and fell. You haven't mastered the auto jump? No. Oh, there we go. I don't know what happened there. Good start, ain't it? And then he just falls off. <laughs> Harry Potter broke his leg and never made it to Hogwarts that year. <laughs> Which is a shame, really, because that's where Madame Pomfrey is, and right. she could have helped. We need to calm yeah. down the ghoul. He's banging and dropping pipes, and he's driving my Oh my god, it's Shrek. It's <laughs> not a ghoul. <laughs> Try and catch 60 pipes before they land on the floor and make a terrible... Jeez, how many has he got in his pockets? Right, Harry, <laughs> let's get to it. I wonder if I could do this 100%. Careful. Oh, What well, gets me? As you can probably see, it's quite obvious what you need to do here. Yeah. You know what gets me? We're still making a racket by moving the chest. Look at that. That's just from moving. Yeah. Well, I think the point is you collect up all the pipes and shut them in the chest so that the ghoul can't get to them again. Yeah, because. Or just be throwing them around all day. If only you had the key. But he probably threw it away. That was a fast one. Yeah, bang on. 100%. Nice work, Harry. That'll shut him up for a while. Thanks for helping with the ghoul. Can't you just go? Much ah! You can't shut that in a chest. <laughs> Must be soundproof. <laughs> Why are you calling him non magical junk? Just because it's not magic doesn't mean it's junk. Mother stuff can be cool too, you know. Yeah, like. PlayStations. And. TVs, jumpers, and shoes. <laughs> Harry's wearing shoes right now, and I'm pretty sure right. they're not magical. Let's go yeah, if they're magical. He could run as fast as Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> His magical custom shoes. <laughs> but obviously, when he come to Chamber of Secrets, he had to upgrade them to the custom two ones. <laughs> We're never gonna let that custom shoe joke die, are we? No. <laughs> That's 
means he's jumped everywhere. It drives Mum mad. What does it make Mrs. Weasley mad? When Mr. Weasley gives her a really good seeing to. True, but why is it always sexual? <laughs> <laughs> Everything about you has got to be sexual, isn't it? It's not my fault that's what Mrs. Weasley's into. Well, mind you, the evidence does show. Hmm. You notice about these beans? I like how they're more different shapes now. Different colours, I mean. The amount of children the Weasleys have, though, you'd think that they'd learn to use protection. I mean, yeah, but remember, Petigos are very simple yeah, but got, charm. Yeah, but remember, they don't use non... They, they don't like non-magical junk. So they wouldn't use it, would they? Unless it's magic. Yeah, did you not hear what I said? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I said they should use protection. Petigos are very simple and effective charm. <laughs> Petigos. <laughs> hey, look. Ginny's over by the Puffs game patch. Why don't you go and chat to her? But that's Ginny. That's not Ginny Weasley. Nope. That is not Ginny Weasley at all. No, that, no way is that Ginny. She's too tall and that looks nothing like her. No, none of the features are correct. No. That. That is Ginny Weasley. Picture of Ginny Weasley around here. Yeah. Sometimes. A framed picture of Ginny Weasley. Oh, come on, you've got loads of pictures of Hermione on your calendars in your bedroom. Yeah, but at least you don't carry them around in my pocket. But like, what is the date? I'll have a look for you. It's... Oh, hang on, no, I'm not falling for that one. She's been a bit shy lately. I wonder why. I'm off to see what Dad's up to. And because that's not Ginny? I can't run just walk past her, completely ignored his own sister. Hmm. She's not been shy lately, it's just you're not talking to her. Hi, yeah. Harry. Pleased to meet you, I'm Ginny. Just oh yeah, she's shy, ain't she? She's getting into the perfect conversation. Don't use it as a bludger when they play Quidditch. Guide the puffs game over to the bushes and it'll eat them, revealing every flavour beans that you can collect. Beans. At least they told us this time. Yeah. Wizards cards from Fred and George at Hogwarts. If you guide the puffs game over to the bushes, it'll eat them, and you may be able to find a famous witches and wizards card. They not eat that as well. Then you get a wizard card. It is put into your folio magi. Press the select button. This will show you the folio magi and the wizard cards you've collected at that point. There are two types of famous witches. Oh yeah, she's very shy, Anna. I know she'd be talking for now. Oh, well, that's getting a little bit boring, really. <laughs> Shut up, you redhead bitch. <laughs> she, I remember in the first game when it came up with the folio magi, and I couldn't, but well, I didn't know how to pronounce it because it was just words on the screen. She's pronounced it in this game. And I'm still not sure if it's right because they're American. And they yeah. get many things wrong. Yeah, we're not going to quote them. But, um, yeah, I know it's my American, but what the guy realised, it's all about British. I'm sure they could at least put in the way the British would say, since it's well, all. Well, the isn't British, it's Latin. But you know what I mean. They're probably just trying to switch into their own words. Hmm. Look how big he's getting now. He's a big boy. Who's a fat little Puffski? Who's a fat Puffski? Hey, Harry, here's a famous witches and wizards card. Felix Somerby. Nude Ginny. Will you stop? I'm Bon Harry. He's gone off to see Dad, I think. It's this way. And besides, it's not a wizard card. She just gives it to Harry after they get married. Spoiler alert! Oh, he's still eating. Oh, yeah, she gives it to Harry, all right. Ah, come on. You might as well finish off these bushes and don't say a word. 
<laughs> I know what you're like. You said it last time. Yeah, but I didn't mean it like that. You laughed just as much as I did. Alright guys, we'll pick up the guy eventually, but we just want to get the beans, so... So as with the, uh, with the first game, this playthrough isn't just going through the game, it's doing it 100%. So to do it 100%, you need to get so many beans, so we've got to get whatever beans we can. There you go, look, I'm making you lose weight now, so as you keep throwing up. Such a shy girl. Yeah, right. <laughs> Who put that table there? <laughs> it's always been there. No, he's actually the best place for it. <laughs> I actually wanted to find a line that I could just quote. <laughs> and as Harry stared lustfully into Hermione's eyes. <laughs> He said, oh, hi, Brad. <laughs> he knew that in that moment he was no longer a boy, but a full-grown wizard. <laughs> it's going very well. Luckily, though, I've been using the game disc as a bookmark. What? I'm going to have to do that again. That what? <laughs> Look at that, I've been using the game disc as a bookmark. What the heck? <laughs> Take for <laughs> It's not in the game! You uh, You can't picture of Ginny Weasley around with you. Yeah. Sometimes. A framed picture. <laughs> what? <laughs> you, you carry a picture around him. Ginny blah 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 blah. Okay, we start again. <laughs> I don't carry a picture around of Ginny blah blah blah. I carry a picture around of Ginny Weasley. Yeah, I know. Who's Ginny blah blah blah? Can you introduce me? Is she fine? I'll give a fine bitch a call.